Welcome. We're Jim and Sam. We're on a tour right now. We're playing one show every day for an entire year. This is a brand new song. It's kind of about rejection. It's not kind of about rejection. It is definitely about rejection. Find me a way to get out of here. We've been playing music together for almost 10 years. Find me a way to get out. And we've tried really hard to build a real following. But nothing we have done has worked. We should see what happens if the only thing we do is focus on music. We're gonna play one show every day for a year. <laughs> we might be out of our minds, but we're really excited about it. We're Jim and Sam from Los Angeles, California. Where are you here today? We're playing a liquor store. Welcome to South by Southwest. Live in Omaha, Nebraska, why we're cutting down a tree. Mm. We're gonna be sweet to each other. <laughs> And then we're gonna have sex on this. No, Jim, definitely not happening. We got married four months ago. She started arguing, just say, yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> it's like the honeymoon tour. It's the don't get divorced tour. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look Features, and we're here today with Jim and Sam, musical duo, married couple, and subjects of the new documentary, After So Many Days. So you two did a show every day for a year. Tell me how this whole thing started. Um, well, we had just gotten married and actually this idea was brewing for a couple years and uh, we were both feeling really stuck and we were like, we need to do something crazy to shake things up and to just get us out of this funk. And we, yeah, we had this idea and neither one of us backed down and we were like, okay, this is what we're doing. We both agreed on it. Yeah, usually if you can, if we can agree on something, it doesn't matter if it's a restaurant or playing a show every day for a year, you know that you should be eating Indian food. Like it's just, whatever the thing is, that's kind of how we operate. Yeah. And uh, this just happened to be a very long... Big idea. Big idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was incredible to watch the whole process of, of this. And, and you guys played in some venues that were a bit unconventional. Yeah. <laughs> so tell, me, tell me about those experiences. What was that like? Honestly, I, we, we wouldn't think it, but those experiences ended up being the best moments of the entire tour. You know, when we first set out, we didn't imagine we would be doing those weird experiences. But the more we did them, the more we were sort of like, ooh, I want to make this weird. How do we make this weirder? How do we, Yeah, you know? it's and it's, it's super strange how playing a song in these weird, unique places for some reason makes us think, this is exactly why we wrote the song. We wrote the song to be here in this liquor store in London with this guy. And it felt like it took us playing the song 500 times in traditional places to go, this is the person who needed to hear the song. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. Wow. Well, and you're also releasing an album with this. And, and I saw that you wrote, obviously, the title of the documentary after so many days while you were on the road. Tell me about some of the songs that people can expect to hear on this journey. I, I think, I, I, you know, we were really in a creative rut and we were in a place prior to the film that we were frustrated. And I think you kind of get to hear on the record and I think through this through the through the uh, through the film songs that are be coming from that place of frustration and then us sort of transforming to a place more of like a reflective place at the end so it really does feel like it kind of goes from one one spot to the other um, yeah I think what's really cool about this album is because we recorded a lot of the songs on the album and then some when we did the tour it just kind of we hopefully hope that it, it takes the listeners kind of on the journey with us with the songs. Certainly felt like that when I was watching it. Um, do you have a favorite spot that you stopped at along the way? I don't I, even know. Do you I, have one? I kind of wish sometimes we had a wheel in our house. You know when you like spin a wheel and it says like, you'll get 15% off at wherever the store might be. I wish we had a wheel that just had memories on them and it, 365 days because we could spin a wheel and stop. I mean, right now, if I was going to spin a wheel and stop, um, I would say it's in the film, you know, there's a moment in the film where, uh, and I, it's not giving anything away, but there's just this incredible moment where we showed up to this, uh, this venue that was very small and dusty and old, and we didn't know what to expect. And then we met the owner and it was, you know, the afternoon and it was kind of weird. And I went back out to the car to get the stuff. And I said to Sam, get ready. It's going to be a weird night. It's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. And then cut to four hours later and the, this was in, uh, in Poland. The entire room is packed with people mm. that are the most heart, like so filled with 
heart and excitement and, and energy. Good. Yeah, no, and then after the show, it, the guys cooking for us, and we're we're sitting with the people who work there, and we're all singing songs around the piano, and I think it's just times yeah. like that. It's like yeah. don't judge a book by its cover, and I think that's one of the yeah that cliche truly felt like that throughout the tour. Yeah, for us. yeah, for sure. Memory Wheel, I feel like that could be the title of your next song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, looking back on this experience now, would you have done anything differently? Maybe maybe I would have taken a day off here and there <laughs> instead uh, of doing it every day, but no, 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 no. I think, no, I think maybe I would have given myself a little bit more time to plan, but, pro but probably not. I think everything kind of happened the way it should have um, for better and for worse. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would add, to, you know, I say I think because we were making a film the whole time, we were filming every day. That was kind of ended up being our diary. That became sort of our journal, where we did at the beginning. You know, Sam and I for the first two weeks, every day, both of us were writing, and you sit down to write what you're experiencing during this journey. And two pages, three pages come out, and we do have them scattered throughout the tour. But I wish every day both of us sat down, even to just write three sentences. I, looking back, I wish I did that. But I think we would have been driving ourselves yeah, crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you can only do so much. Yeah. Well, well, I think it was perfect, just as it was. I oh, really enjoyed so it. Much. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys can check out After So Many Days, available digitally now. You're living the dream. You need to carry on chasing it, because you're going to find it. It sold out. You're excited? I'm very excited. There's so many beautiful people in the world. Thank you for doing this crazy thing with me. So here we go, making something happen every single day. Yeah, I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling it. Jim, they're all coming over here. All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're Jim and Sam. We're passing through. Yeah.